What's going on, my PT peeps and my Walking Dead family? Welcome to the PT channel. I'm One Eye Bri, back to talk about The Walking Dead Season 9 and really what was said after Episode 905 on Talking Dead and the future of the show and Rick Grimes and the movies and what's going to be coming up next potentially. Obviously, spoiler warning, if you're worried about spoilers, stop watching now. We're going to talk about a couple things in this video and I don't want to ruin anything for you. So spoiler warning for Season 9 and the future of The Walking Dead universe and movies. But if you love The Walking Dead and The Walking Dead family, this is the channel for you. Hit that subscribe button, become a value member of the PT channel and our Walking Dead family. I really hope you do. We have a lot of fun here. Photo credit and info credit to these fine folks right here. I'm gonna be talking about an article from comicbook.com, so I'm giving credit where credit is due. But first I wanna talk about this video with this thumbnail. They tricked us. A lot of people have been coming out of the woodwork and writing some pretty mean, rude, disrespectful, and hateful comments. I got zero tolerance for hate. And for the people that love this channel, respect this channel, and are really part of my Walking Dead family and my PT peeps, this is not aimed at you. So please do not take this as a slight at you. It's for the people that are cursing at me, disrespecting me, saying mean and disrespectful things to me is what I'll say. I'm not gonna say what they're saying because I'm not gonna utter that and who it was. And I guess people don't care. They're just gonna fight me and everything's an argument now. I don't agree with you and I'm gonna let you know. I'm gonna type up this meanful stuff and I'm gonna write F you and F that and this and you suck and all this other stuff like that. Remember guys, I'm a human being. I'm a person. I treat you with respect, you treat me with respect. It goes both ways. And I just have to get that off my chest and vent it out. You know, just hug it out basically and move on from it. And like I said before, if you love this channel, if you're a subscriber and you're a valued member of the PT channel and our Walking Dead family, this is not geared towards you. Please do not take it that way. But if you feel slighted by this and attacked by this, you're part of the problem most likely. But haters are going to hate and I got zero talents for hate. But let's talk about Rick Grimes a little bit and the future of the show. During episode 905, we heard, what's your wound? It was Morgan, Lori, Beth, and Abraham. It was confirmed on Talking Talking Dead, the YouTube segment that Yvette Nicole Brown, Scott Gimple, and Wilson McBride were on. There was a caller question that came in. Who were the voices? It was Morgan, Lori, Beth, and Abraham. And Yvette Nicole Brown said that it was those voices that were meaningful to Rick for different reasons. And so it was for Morgan, Lori, Beth, and Abraham again. Now let's talk about the comicbook.com article. Dead Universe's chief content officer, Scott Gimple, has revealed a few details regarding the upcoming trilogy he is aiming for. Firstly, the story will bring Andrew Lincoln stateside again, despite his desire to leave the AMC series in the first place, spawning from his wish to spend more time in the United Kingdom with his family. London is unlikely, Gimple tells THR, but you never know. AMC programming president David Madden, who recently filled the void left by Charlie Collier's exit to a new gig at Fox, added, My guess is we'll probably shoot somewhere in North America. It's just probably easy to match some version of the terrain we live in. Regarding the plot of the film, Gimple is not offering much more than the A and B mystery, which Jadis continuously teed up will be a factor. That serves the overall story to this next story that we will have for Rick, Gimple said. Furthermore, Gimple revealed a sensible aspect to the plan. We know Rick Grimes, he would want to be home. And so for people who didn't watch Talking Dead, like my dad and a lot of people, they didn't know that the Rick Grimes story won't be answered or brought up again on the show. Rick Jadis, helicopter people are going to be in the movies. There's going to be at least three movies, some spinoffs, some things and that. But Rick and Jadis are probably going to be in the first one. Not sure where they're going. Is it the Commonwealth in Ohio? That would make sense. He will appear in all three of the TV movies too. I'm going to give you a spoiler here. He does survive, Gimple said. Well, I'm going to say he's in all three movies. I hate going that far, but that's crazy not to say. The fact of the matter is the movies themselves don't actually exist yet. Ideas for the films have been tossed around behind the scenes, but a script has not been presented to Lincoln and the actor has not yet signed on for the projects. So there's still contracts, there's still negotiations and the script hasn't been there. But I would assume Jadis will be there, Rick will be there and a whole bunch of other people. And I like the possibility of Heath being there too. And again, Heath is really a no big deal character on The Walking Dead show, but Corey Hawkins could film his Heath part because I believe, and I think Angela Kang confirmed, that Jadis found Heath, took the RV, and traded him away. So Heath should still be alive. He should be at this new community wherever Jadis traded Heath to. I would think that he has some new glasses, as those are his glasses right there. And I think Angela Kang did confirm that Heath was traded by Jadis or taken by Jadis and something happened between them. And so Heath should be there too. 
And I like the idea of that, getting questions answered. But how does it connect? I know a lot of people thought Heath was going to bring the whispers. Me too. I thought he was going to be part of the whispers. He was going to be a walker or a whisper or a whisper skin or something. He was going to be connected with them. Remember PPP or DDD or this, 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 or that, that, that. What does PPP mean? Well, we talked about it meaning whispering. We talked about it meaning something else. And I don't think it's connected with the whispers at all. Because if Heath's not going to be on the show, if Jadis isn't going to be there, if Rick's not going to be there, and the whispers are coming, probably next episode, 906, 907, 908, will be the big introductions of the whispers. PPP does mean whispering by the dynamics note velocity, but in the world of The Walking Dead, it might have no connection with that. Because Scott Gimple is the only one that knows what PPP means, is what Tara Alana Masterson said on Talking Dead. But I like Alex's theory here, which was funny. I had a disagreement, we'll say, on Instagram with someone who talks about uh, facts of The Walking Dead. And this came up as that. And I kind of believe that this PPP theory is a nice possibility. I think Alex is right. I think this PPP, Purchasing Power Parity, is what it's all about. There are a lot of different ways to tell The Walking Dead, and we're going to tell it in different ways, Gimple says. We don't want to see people doing the same thing with the same motivations or people with the same lives. It needs to be differentiated from each other in the types of stories that they're telling, themes and the tones we're exploring. Whether or not the movies lead Rick back to the characters still telling stories on Sunday nights remains to be seen. We look at this as a very long-term proposition. Madden said, in the end, the plans is to make these titles feel like large, big scope movie that will feel like a major motion picture, more so than another episode of The Walking Dead. So I'm down for some movies, but it kind of sucks that we have to wait so long to find out what happens to Rick, Jadis, the new group, this group, and I want Rick to come back or somehow be reunited with Daryl, Carol, Michonne, and Judith, and Maggie, of course, but the question keeps coming up, didn't everyone not see the helicopter? They were close to the bridge and close to the water. Did Daryl and Maggie not see the helicopter? Well, even if they did, what could they do about it? They don't have a helicopter of their own. They can't go after Rick. So it's I understand the question, but it really doesn't matter because they can't go after Rick. I want to see snow. I want to see some spinoffs. I want to see that. I want to see elements of the environment coming around The Walking Dead. They're in Virginia is the story they film in Georgia. Yes, I know. Of course, I know that. But they film in Georgia. So in November time, they probably won't have snow on the ground. So it's not feasible and cost effective because they film from April or May to November. So snow is not really around. But they can do it if they film at different times of the year. Big news that I talked about in another video. Norman Reedus and Melissa McBride. So Daryl and Carol have signed on for three years. And Denai Guerrera was signing, hopefully, her contract. She's still in negotiations. But... Carol, Daryl, and Michonne will hopefully be connected with the Walking Dead universe for three more years at least. In the movies, hopefully connecting with Rick at some point. That's the big thing I want to see. Daryl and Rick being reunited for the bromance. Michonne being reunited with Rick, obviously. And Rick seeing Judith. Is Rick going to the Commonwealth? That makes the most sense. That would be a nice connecting point. Maybe they come back to the show and Rick this or Rick that. But... I don't know what's going to actually happen, but if they're filming in the state side, the Commonwealth is the most logical story. If they go to London, that's a whole new thing, and that could possibly be down the road. But Rick, at least Andrew Lincoln's Rick, is not coming back to the TV show, just be in the movie. So, which begs the thought of if Andrew Lincoln is going to be connected with The Walking Dead still, he's going to film a movie, which is probably three, four months, I guess. And then if he's going to direct an episode, that's two weeks. So, if say it's four months that Andrew Lincoln's going to be connected with The Walking Dead, that's definitely less than six that it would be for the TV show, but he's still filming The Walking Dead stuff and the universe not being with his family in London. So what's that all about? But I want to see Rick and Daryl reunited, Rick and Michonne reunited, and it has to be in the movies then, because if Rick's not coming back to the show, we'll have to wait for the movies, and that's okay, but I'm excited for the season nine, and I love season nine. So again, with the Trick Dust video, it's still, I still have appreciation and love for The Walking Dead, Daryl, Carol, Michonne, and with Daryl taking out the walkers to save Rick, that's what it's all about. It's a great moment, and Daryl's big in some big moments, whether you hate Daryl or not, but whatever, I'm not going to get in that whole conversation, but Daryl's essential to the show, and people hate on him, they hate on everything, they hate on me, just haters going to hate, you know, enough of that BS, but Michonne, I want to see her reunited with Rick, and Michonne's going to be 
you know, broken down now. The six year time jump is going to really affect Michonne. She's gonna be a different cold distant person because Rick's been gone. And I totally understand what Michonne's going through. I'm just saying that she's gonna be different for sure. I wanna see Judith reunite with Rick. And that's gonna be a crazy thing to think that Rick's gone, Carl's gone on the show, Maggie's gone after episode 905, which is crazy to think that we didn't even see a final goodbye of Maggie, but Judith's the future of the show. What do you think of that? I'm kind of excited if they write Judith the right way, she can be a new badass character for the future and be a big part of the Walking Dead universe. But that's the big news, guys. Three movies, at least, with Andrew Lincoln. Hopefully we'll get Carol, Daryl, Michonne, Judith, Maggie in those movies as well, as that looks to be the only way that we'll have Rick, Daryl, Carol, and or Michonne, and hopefully Judith coming together. So the movies could be great, they could be terrible, they could be a stretch. Hopefully they're not just on AMC Premiere and you have to purchase that service to watch the movies, but we just don't know that. But I could see AMC kind of doing something like that. Hopefully not, but let me know your thoughts, post your comments below. And remember guys, if you love the channel and you love what we do here and you support us, the disrespect and the rude comments that people were making, my rant about that was not geared towards you. Hopefully you did not take it that way, but remember guys, with hard work, dedication, belief, and sacrifice, you can truly achieve your goals. Believe in yourself, you can do it.